Uh, I can also offer, you know, the people I'm buying the houses from, I can say, hey, look, we can close quick on this because when you have the private lendings, you can get the funds usually five to seven days and that cuts off all the time that you'd wait for a bank, you know, so it's attractive to my uh, the customers I'm buying properties from because I can close quicker. Then I don't need bank inspections, which also hold up, you know, deals from being done. So there's multiple levels that I, I gain, you know, that I benefit from. And uh, I've enjoyed that benefit here for my last couple of deals. It's, it's really exciting. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Are you struggling with how to grow your real estate business? Or are you struggling with having the money to fund your deals? Or how about struggling to even get your very first real estate deal? Well, you are not alone. Here on Raising Private Money, we are here to fix your problem. That is to help you overcome the challenge of getting money for your deals. Today on today's show, I'm joined by a very, very successful real estate investor who has raised tens and tens of thousands of dollars in private money. My guest is Guy Stevens. And he's going to share how private money actually recently saved three of his real estate deals. So if you want to get a lot of private money without relying on banks, without relying on hard money lenders, or any kind of institutional money, you don't want to miss a second of this show. Let's dive in right now and let's talk to Guy and find out how he does it. Well, Guy, I want to know, how did you really feel when you were able to break through and finally realize that private money was the thing that you were missing in your business? So, Jay, um, the way I felt when I got my first private lender, it, it was a, amazing. It was a feeling of, of validation. Um, and it was a win-win for both of us. Uh, when we, when I got together, uh, he was a coworker of mine for 25 years. It was, it was actually easy. I did, we just started talking about old times and then it came up and, you know, I told him the details and he's like, this works for me. My money's just sitting in the bank at 0.002%. You know, I can't believe you have this program. And it was just such a great feeling to offer that service to him and, have the service available to me. It was amazing. It was a win-win and, you know, we're on the Christmas card list and we're, we're visiting each other and, and it actually makes connections. He lives in Minnesota now. So not only, you know, do we have this benefit of helping each other through business, it rekindles our relationship that we may not otherwise have. So that's an unintended great benefit. Yeah. Well, you just said a lot of nuggets in a short period of time. You said your relationship uh, with your coworker. So this private lender, your first private lender was a coworker that you worked with. You also said it's a win-win uh, scenario. This world of private money is a win for you. It's a win for the private lender. Um, you told your coworker the details of your program. We'll want to dive into that a little bit. And so you really covered a lot right there that I want that I want to dive into. You know, speaking of how you felt when you got that first private lender, I remember how I felt, guy. Of course, my situation was really out of necessity. I had been doing business with uh, the same banker for six years, Carol Joy, my wife and I. We went full time into investing in single family houses all the way back to 2003, and from 2003. To 2009, uh, we relied on the local bank. And, you know, I found out in January of 2009, I no longer had a line of credit. It was gone. Um, no fault of my own. Had a great credit score. But, you know, there was this global financial crisis going on. And um, so my banker told me that I no longer had any credit, any lines of credit for my real estate deals. And so 
I learned about private money very, very quickly. And I remember my very first private lender. I actually came from church and uh, it was $250,000. Uh, I described, you know, my program, like your private lending program to this particular individual. And I tell you, guy, it's just hard to describe how I felt. I felt liberated. I felt like the handcuffs were off. I felt like I'm now in control of my business. The bank's not making the rules. I'm making the rules. And, you know, that's a big difference when the money starts chasing you instead of you chasing the money. You know, the old traditional way of borrowing money is you go to the bank or get on your hands and knees and put your hands underneath your chin. You say, please give me a mortgage. Please loan me money. And as you now know in this world, it's the opposite. You know, we're not begging or asking or chasing money and asking people to loan us money. We're teaching them what private money is, and now they just can't wait to do business with us. You mentioned a moment ago, talking about your first private lenders, the how it was a win-win scenario. What do you mean by that? How was it a win-win? Well, you know, I obviously win because I had a similar uh, experience with banking, although um, I didn't have a business that was already had connections. As a first-time investor, uh, they don't like to give money to first-time investors. So I had tried probably three or four banks and I had legitimate deals that showed legitimate cash flow. And because I didn't have the experience, I, I couldn't get the lending. So for me, it was almost my only option other than using my own money, which I've done quite a bit in my retirement funds. So, um, but as far as the, um, my, the lender, He's a farmer and, you know, he does a lot of, uh, he sells hay, he, he, he does things that's local and um, he's on a, also has his IRA that he's using that from his retirement. So he's on a budgeted income and it just is, it's real simple. And you've said it before in your trainings, it, you compare 0.001% to 10%. It's a slam dunk. He's making hundred times more than he would in the bank. He's just thrilled to death about it. So it's really not any more difficult than that. He's just, it, it, I, I solved his problem of his poor earnings on his, on his savings. It's that easy. So it was a win uh, for your private lender uh, he's going to make a whole lot more money, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. He's going to make a whole lot more money than he was, you know, say that he could get in the local bank. And it was a win for you. How How is this, this world of private money and doing business with individuals being your private lender? How is that a win for you? What are the benefits to you? Well, it's, the benefit to me receiving the private lending is you don't have to go through um, the banking system, which I got rejected on, and you did too. You got your your lines of credit cut off. Um, you know, for me, uh, I can do more deals. You know, when, once you start doing banking and you start getting the numbers start going up against you, they're going to cut you off. So uh, I can also offer, you know, the people I'm buying the houses from, I can say, hey, look, we can close quick on this because when you have the private lendings, you can get the funds usually five to seven days and that cuts off all the time that you'd wait for a bank, you know? So it's attractive to my, uh, the customers I'm buying properties from because I can close quicker. Then I don't need bank inspections, which also hold up, you know, deals from being done. So there's multiple levels that I, I gain, you know, that I benefit from. And uh, I've enjoyed that benefit here for my last couple of deals. It's, it's really exciting. Well, you know, you mentioned that, um, well, really what it boils down to is it just really puts you in the driver's seat. It puts you in control uh, of your business. Um, you know, when we, when I was borrowing money from the banks, like yourself, who made the rules? You know, who set the interest rate? Who set the frequency of payments and all that? Well, the banker did. But in this world of private money, you and I, we make the rules. We set the interest rate. We set the... Uh, you know, frequency of payments, the length of the note. And so it's like a 180 degree shift in who's making the rules and, you know, how, you know, how this program is being put together. One of the benefits 
of using private money. You just mentioned, Guy, you said you can close quickly. You can close in five days. You can close in seven days. Why is that a benefit and, and, and why does that come to top of mind as to really being a big reason as to why someone would want to use private money? Well, you know, for the customer that you're buying the house from, it's certainty. You know, you're paying cash and we can close in, you know, like within two weeks. And a lot of times, you know, especially right now with the, the banks are more choosy, the interest rates are up, they don't want to take risks. So a lot of times, you know, people go to sell their house, they have it sold, and then the buyers can't buy it because, you know, their, their credit fell through, they didn't pass. So I can offer the speed. A lot of times people want the money quick, you know, they want to, they want a guaranteed quick return. And with that, we can offer with a bank, you can't guarantee it. And I think you said something, Jay, you make the rules, not the bank. So the bank's rules don't favor you or your, or your customer. They favor the bank. This favors both us as the, you know, the investor and as the customers that we're buying the house from. It's a win-win on that end as well, not just with the lender, but who we're buying from. They like having the security of knowing that the, that their sale is going to happen and that's going to happen quick. Um, so it's, that's another third benefit. It's not just from the lender. It's from our customers that we're buying our houses from. Regarding this benefit of being able to close really, really quickly, um, Guy, I'm interested in knowing, have you experienced what I have experienced? And here what I'm, here's what I'm talking about. I have gotten countless over the years, I have gotten countless offers accepted from sellers, particularly for sale by owners that I said, I can close quickly. I can close in seven days and we would go into contract and the seller would tell me that they had received a higher offer from another real estate investor but they took my offer because I could close quicker. And to use your word, the closing was more certain that it was going to happen since I could close quickly. And I offered them a benefit. I'll say, look, I'll go ahead and get you your money. I'll go ahead and, and uh, close on the deal. But I'll work with you and you can actually continue to live in your house for free, for no rent, for whatever period of time that both the seller and I negotiate. It's going to work for them and it's going to work for me as well. Have you run into that scenario to where you actually have been able to buy a house cheaper at a lower price than say your competition because you were actually able to close so much quicker with a private lender? I'm actually in a deal right now um, where I'm speaking to the uh, flexibility of, of serving your customer um, where they need a little bit of time to clean their house out. They love the fact that I'm buying the house and, and got to close on it quick, but they also love that I'm giving them time to get everything that they need out of it. Um, they weren't quite ready to sell it. And I got an off market, um, you know, contact. That's how I got my lead. And uh, they just love that. Oh, you're going to let us do that. I said, you take whatever you want out, take your time. Um, you know, as soon as you're done, then we come in. So we, that's speaking to what you say that we make the rules and that doesn't just help us. It helps our customers. In this case, you know, the folks that are cleaning out this house, they, they love that they don't have to be on this timeline that we have to get out by then because we make the rule. We say, whenever you're done, we can take over. And that's a, that's a big benefit as well. You know, uh, you mentioned uh, us making the rules and helping them. You know, when we make the rules and it's our private lending program that we are offering to the private lender or private lenders, as you say, it just gives us so much more flexibility in working with the seller. And one thing you just said is really, really important. And that is being able to work with the seller and help. You use that word help. That's a four letter word. I absolutely love help, H-E-L-P. And so would you, would you say that this world of private money actually gives you more flexibility and able to being able to serve your sellers? Um, yeah. In regards to serving the sellers, that having the private money, uh, program absolutely helps serve. And that's, it's, it's the beautiful thing about this business. 
uh, every instance that I have uh, purchased homes from people, they were, they were in need. They were stuck. They had a problem. I've had a condemned house that the guy was going to get fined on that I helped. You know, I served him and I was able to, you know, help him out. And then I had a buyer instantly. I, I was I was getting ready to stick the real estate sign for sale in the yard. And I had the neighborhood come around. We want to know we want to buy this house. So, you know, I had that experience. Uh, I had a family who lost their mother and the house was not in good repair. And they were like, we have no idea what we're going to do. What are we going to do? I said, well, just give it, let me take care of it. I gave them full praise value. I had a, a appraiser come in. I gave them to the dollar, the top money it was worth at that time. And I took care of all their problems. So yeah, having that access is, is, is a gift to be able to give that to people and they appreciate it. Um, it. My other deal that I just got, the people, the very same you know thing we talked about, how the bank you know has a loan and then someone doesn't qualify. These people had their house and they they had it for sale and the hot, the market was hot and they had it sold for top dollar. And a month later, the, the buyers didn't qualify. So then when they didn't qualify, the market cooled off and they couldn't they couldn't sell their house. So I came in, was able to, you know, take the payments over for them and um, able to, you know, relieve them of their problem. They were really stuck. They had their house sold for, you know, that tens of thousands of dollars of profit and now they can't sell it. So um, having that ability is it's it, to serve. It, it's a gift for everybody. It's a gift for me to be able to do it. It's a gift for the people that are in need. They were really stuck. We really saw problems. That's, and that's kind of what we do. We solve problems and we serve. And it's a great feeling for everybody. Well, you know, if people didn't have problems, they wouldn't need us. Uh, I mean, you just hit the nail on the head. That's what we are is we're, we're bringing solutions to the people that have got a problem. They've either got a problem with their house. They got a personal problem. They're in some type of difficulty. And here we come along and with private money, we're able to solve that problem very, very quickly. A few minutes ago, you mentioned something that I want to come back around to that. I, I want to make sure that, uh, everyone does not miss. And that is, you said with private money, you're able to do more deals. So let's contrast private money, say with borrowing money from a bank. And by the way, just to make sure uh, our listeners know what we're talking about, when we say private money, we're talking about doing business with individuals. We're talking about human beings. We're talking about borrowing money from other people. So we're not talking about borrowing money from our real estate deals, from any kind of institutional money. So one thing you said a few minutes ago is you said private money allows you to do more deals. How is that the case? Well, it, it, to, to get more deals from private money, is there's no limits. You know, the only limit I, I have is me not doing the work to, you know, to reach out to people to see if they're interested in it. So in a bank, it's very regimented. There's rules. Um, and as I mentioned before, you have a credit limit, you know, depending on how much cash flow you have, it, that's, that depends on how many deals you can get with a bank. And as I mentioned earlier, my first challenge as, as a first time investor is they wouldn't lend to me because I don't have any business. And even though I had the I had some funds, you know, that start the business up, that wasn't good enough. They, I had to prove to them you know, that I was worthy. I had to prove that I, the cash flow. And so, you know, that's a really big deal. And, and really by being unlimited is just, like I said, you limit yourself by not contacting enough people, you know, to offer this product, to offer this service to. And, uh, you know, as many private loans as you get is as many houses as you can get, you know, provided that you can find the properties, which I'm having no problem actually finding uh, off-market prop, you know, properties. So, you know, that's plain and simple. Uh, it's a day and night difference, as you mentioned, 180 difference. It, it couldn't be more opposite to the bank. It's a great solution to the bank problem. Yeah, regarding this, being able to do more deals, um, when I was relying on the bank prior to learning about private money and, and doing business with uh, individuals to fund our real estate deals, I only had a million dollar line of credit. 
that was it. And, you know, a million dollars sounds like a lot of money, but, you know, with a median price point of $300,000 here in our local area, it doesn't take long to use up that million dollar line of credit. And I tell you, Guy, prior to private money and using private money, I lost count on the number of deals that I missed out on because I did not have the funding. Like I would, I would, you know, have a lead come in or I would learn about a bank owned property or whatever. And I could not buy it because I was maxed out at my line of credit. And as you just said, in this world of private money, there's no limit whatsoever to the number of private lenders that we can have. There's no limit to the amount of private money that we can use and borrow. Like for example, in my case right now, Carol Joy and I've got 44 private lenders, individuals, they're investing in our deals, getting high rates of returns safely and securely. And that equates to about a ha eight and a half, eight and a half million dollars in private money that we're able to use over and over and over again. You know, Guy, I'm sure that we may have a listener or listeners that really want to know, well, what is this private money program that we teach to potential private lenders? And I'm so excited, Guy, about the new recently written private money guide that I have written. And it's called Seven Reasons Why Private Money Will Skyrocket Your Real Estate Business and Help You Build Incredible Wealth. And I want to give this away absolutely for free. You're listening. You want to download this book. You're watching on YouTube. You want to download this ebook, this private money guide, and you can get it for free, absolutely for free, by going to www.jayconner.com. And an e, I'm an ER, not an OR. That's jayconner, J A Y C O N N E R.com forward slash money guide. Again, that's www.jayconner.com forward slash money guide. Something else that you mentioned a few minutes ago, Guy, was you talked about retirement funds. And you know, there's, there's more than one place <clears throat> where a private lender can get money and funding to do business with us as real estate investors. Obviously, they can get it from just their liquid investment capital. And they can also use their retirement funds uh, to invest with us. How about take a moment and share how exactly does that work? How can an individual that's got retirement funds use, the, and we're talking like any kind of 401k, uh, 403b, a pension at a, from a previous employer, uh, it could be at a current employer if they've been there long enough. You know, some plan administrators will let you move some of that. But how, you know, step by step, if you were talking to a potential private lender of someone that you know and you learned they had retirement funds, how would that conversation go? How would you describe to them how they can use retirement funds to fund uh, a real estate deal of yours? So, yeah, if I had someone come to me and ask me, you know, how do I get started? How do I use this self-directed IRA? Um, I would direct them to our uh, company that we use, the Quest Trust Company. And it's real. I have a, um, a contact already that we just get a three way going with them. They set them up with the paperwork. It's, it's a matter of filling out the paperwork for 20 minutes and they, they walk them through it. It's very simple. And then um, as they go through them and they they work up the, the way to transact from their current retirement funds to get over to the Quest company to process the loans. It's actually a pretty simple process. And we have the, you know, the luxury and, and to, to be able to access Quest to do this for us. So I know the basic way of doing this, but I pretty much say, here's my agent. Here's my contact. You you contact these guys. We introduce each other, and they take them step through step through the paperwork. It's very simple. Quest is very good at what they do, and they and they have all the answers and all the support to, to make it very painless as painless as possible. It makes it takes the pressure off the lender for sure. Yeah, that's a really really important point right there. Um, I have of uh, those forty four private lenders, a little over half of our private lenders are actually using 
their retirement funds that they already had, either from a previous employer or wherever, and <clears throat> they transferred in my direction, they transferred their retirement funds because they weren't happy with the returns. You know, if the retirement funds, if someone has retirement funds and they are invested in the stock market or mutual funds, then first of all, their investment, the value of it is volatile. The value is volatile and goes up and down. Whereas in our private lending program, the principal loan amount remains the same. They know exactly what the return on their uh, investment is going to be. And the beautiful thing about people using retirement funds is that their, their return on their investment when they're investing in our deals, they know exactly what the return is going to be. And on top of that, they don't have to worry about the value of their investment as in contrast to the stock market going down. You know, when you invest in the stock market with liquid capital or retirement funds, the value of your investment can be worth less tomorrow than it is today. And on top of all that, this vehicle, this strategy of people using retirement funds to invest with us, well, in addition to all that, it's all their returns, all their money that they're earning is either at least tax deferred or penalty free. There's uh, there, uh, tax deferred, tax free. It's always there's no penalty. And you know, guy, when I'm talking with a new potential private lender and I ask them the question, did you know there's a way people can earn unlimited money per year tax free? Well, they look at me like, you know, a deer, you know, in headlights. They like, they have no idea, you know, what I'm talking about. And so for a real estate investor to really get all the private money that they would want for their deals, it's really, really important to establish a relationship with a self-directed IRA company approved by the IRS. It's also called a third party custodian. And as you mentioned a moment ago, Guy, our preferred self-directed IRA company that we refer people to is Quest Trust Company out of Houston, Texas. Their customer service is unbelievable. I get my deals when I have a private lender that's funding one of my deals using their retirement funds. They've transferred their money over to Quest. As you said, it normally takes two to three weeks and Quest handles that, you know, for the individual. Well, I get my deals funded within three days of submitting the paperwork to Quest. Now, I've done business with other uh, self directed IRA companies and hands down Quest has got absolutely the best service. And, and so, you know, that's just really important. So the actionable item for a real estate investor is establish a relationship with a self-directed IRA company so that when you are talking to a new potential private lender and they have retirement funds, then it's easy for you to already have that relationship in place. It's easy for you to introduce your new private lender to the rep at Quest and Quest will answer all the questions. And it sounds like you've had that same experience as well, right, Guy? Yeah, selfishly, it's easy for us. <laughs> we don't have to do anything but get a hold of Quest and they do the work. So it's a win-win there. It, it's interesting you had mentioned that 50% of your um, of your lenders are uh, either investment fund or retirement fund. That's my exact number as well. And I wanted to speak to something about um, the gentleman, one of the gentlemen I have that's, that's invested in me in the retirement funds. Their retirement funds were costing them money because it's just in the it's in the it's in the account and he gets charged fees every three months. So not he was not even getting zero percent. That money was costing him money staying in there. And by me, you know, finding him and him lending to me, now he's making 10 percent on it. So I actually found a case where someone was losing money on the retirement funds and that sure solved his problem. I also want to circle back to something else you said, Guy. You said that the bank would not loan you money. You said the bank had turned you down, would not loan you money, but four banks, down. <laughs> four banks, four yeah. banks turned you down, but the private lender would loan you money. Why is that the case? Why did the bank turn you down? but the private lender is willing to fund your deal. 
we're not bound to the bank rules and their stipulations. So like you said, we make our own rules and we don't restrict ourselves and our private lenders are more than happy to fund. It's a win-win. They're making money. So they're more than happy to do it. You know, that's why it works. The yeah, bank, my experience. They don't want to, they don't want risk at all. And, you know, someone just starting out, they're not, you know, they're not really looking to do you a favor. They want to make money and they're going, well, we'll wait till you're sure you have enough money. You don't need us. Then we'll might loan it to you. <laughs> That's right. Well, you know, I know you've heard it said like I have a banker will loan you money. Excuse me. A banker will give you an umbrella when the sun is shining. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you know, um, I'm sure you've had the same experience. There's three big reasons that I've observed that a private lender is to the reasons why a private lender wants to do business with us, whereas maybe the bank doesn't. And number one is, as you said, they're going to make a lot of money, a whole lot more money than they can, say, putting their money in a local you know, CD. Secondly, as we talked about, there's no volatility uh, in the value uh, of their investment with us in contrast to the stock market. And thirdly, here's a big one. When we borrow money from the private lender, we are not borrowing unsecured funds. Our private lenders absolutely love our program because when they invest with us, it is safe. It's a safe investment and it is secure. Well, how's it safe? It's safe because we have a conservative loan to value. We typically don't borrow more than 75% of the after repaired value on a property. And then secondly, we are not borrowing unsecured funds. We give them a mortgage or a deed of trust. And so the real estate that they are loaning us money on is actually backing that note. So the real estate that we purchase is giving the security to the private lender. And, you know, yeah, I hear people, I hear new real estate investors say to me all the time, they say, Jay, they'll ask me this question. They'll say, who in the world is going to loan me money? And I've never done a deal before. And here's the answer to that question. If you don't pay your private lender, the property does. And what in the world does that mean? Well, since they have the security, since they've got the deed of trust or the mortgage, then if you don't pay them, they get the property. They can foreclose on the property. Of course, don't make them foreclose. Give them a deed in lieu. But you know what? Out of all the private lender deals I've done, and we've rehabbed over 450 houses here in our local market, in Eastern North Carolina, every one of our private lenders uh, has gotten every cent that was coming to them. And how does that work? It's because of the math and the calculation and the formula that we use as to the maximum offer that we're going to make on any house. And that way it keeps it conservative and safe for everybody. Guy, I'm sure we may have some uh, folks that want to do business with you. You've got an excellent track record. You're a man of integrity. You do the business like I do. You give, uh, you give all this protection to your private lenders. So when someone wants to reach out to you and continue the conversation, talk about doing some deals with you, getting high rates of return safely and securely, how can somebody get up with you and reach you, Guy? Oh, thanks, Jay. How they can reach me right now, the best place is go on Facebook. We buy houses, Central Ohio. And uh, that's where I is a good way of, of reaching me. And also my uh, business email is envyguy20 at gmail.com. I wanted to bring up one other item, Jay, um, that we were talking about. The buyers of the properties that we're, that we're rehabbing are also very, get a benefit from this as well. I've, uh, in, in several of my deals, I haven't had to advertise my properties. I had people asking me before I get houses, how they can get these houses and, and through private lending and, and, and being able to purchase these properties this way and helping out distressed sellers that can't, you know, they can't get rid of their house. It's vacated. It's condemned. It's, you know, there's too much work. We don't know what to do. Um, you know, we're able to purchase these with these private funds reasonably give our private lenders this you know, great, secured interest rate. And then people are just lined up to get a house that we could provide for them. You know, typically we do a rent to own. So maybe the, the buyers don't have good credit. Well, we're, we let them build their credit up 
by providing these houses. And so far, every house I have, I've not had to advertise. I've had people waiting for them. So the more deals we can do, the more people we can help more all the way around. You got your lenders that make safe, secure, high rates of return. You got the sellers who can't get rid of their house any other way. And then you got buyers just waiting to get in for a chance to get the American dream in their home. And you can provide it for them at rates they can, you know, that they can afford now and build their credit to where they can actually own it outright. So it's that's something else I wanted to speak to. It's very rewarding to be able to provide this service and, and to be a part of this whole process. That's another total benefit from this whole business that we do. It does truly help everybody. I want to really drive that point home because that's really, really important, Guy. You know, as real estate entrepreneurs, we benefit when we do it the way we do it and we do it the right way. We end up benefiting not only ourselves, but so many other people, as you just pointed out, everybody from the seller, the private lender, uh, the buyer, if you're, you know, if you're selling it on rent to own, or even if you put it in the multiple listing service, they were looking for a home. And think of all the other people that we benefit. How about the general contractors? How about their subs, the electricians, the plumbers, uh, all the laborers? Um, and so, every, and, and you know, I learned this from my dad years and years and years ago. He said, you know, Jay, unless everybody that's involved in a transaction gets a win out of it, he said, I don't want to be involved in it. So I'm really, really glad that you brought that point up. Guy, I want to circle right back around before we uh, wrap it up. And I want to give everyone your contact information again, because they just may want to talk to you some more uh, and learn about how they can get high rates of return safely and securely. You can go on Facebook and just do a search, all words together. Just search for We Buy Houses Central Ohio. We Buy Houses Central Ohio. That'll take you to Guy Stevens. And then in addition to that, his Gmail address is N as in Nancy, V as in Victor, Guy, G-U-Y 20 at gmail.com. Guy, you got to tell me what's the N and what's the V stand for? I'm glad you asked. My business is called Nuance Ventures. And the 20 is I started in 2020 is when my business started. Awesome. So N uh, for Nancy, V for Victor, Guy, G-U-Y, N-V, Guy, 20 at gmail.com. And that'll take you straight to Guy. Guy, thank you so much for joining me here on Raising Private Money. I really appreciate you. Oh, you're welcome, Jay. And thanks uh, for inviting me. It's always a pleasure to talk to you to talk shop. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, there you have it, my friend, another episode of Raising Private Money. I hope that you got a lot of value out of this show and I need your help. I want you to think about one friend, one fellow real estate investor or someone that's thinking about getting into real estate investing. And maybe they've talked about not having the money to do their deals. Share with them the free money guide that I offered a little while ago. They can download it just like you at www.jayconner.com forward slash money guide, and also share this episode with them. You may be listening on iTunes. If you are, go to the upper right-hand corner, look for those three little dots, click on them, and you'll see follow, follow me. So be sure and follow me for the upcoming episodes so you don't miss out. If you happen to be watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. Here's to taking your business to the next level. And I look forward to seeing you, yes, you, right here on the next episode of Raising Private Money. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jayconner.com slash money guide. That's j-c-o-n-n-e-r.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jayconnor.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.